If you're new, press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. Assalamu alaikum everyone and welcome back to a Solana video update today. So uh, after Bitcoin dro dropped to the downside, it's been a little bit of a problem. I gave you one big box that you don't want to lose for Solana, okay? And yeah, that box is actually going to be something like this. And unfortunately, what you did is you, you break through that uh, box right there. But I cannot say that Solana is done just yet. I'm going to tell you why. If I dive in into the daily, um, I do see something here in the daily time frame. I'm just going to remove that box here, the blue line there, everything here. And let's talk about this, okay? So you do have this one trend line that I've spoken about in the previous updates where you had this resistance and you push to the downside. You move sideways, you try to come up here and you have that resistance again. You got rejected and then you try to push down and then you're coming up. But you can see that even after dropping down, the thing is, the main thing that really matters is that you are above, you're above this trend line. You didn't lose the trend line at all. Number one. Number two, you're making a new supply zone. I'm going to tell you what's going on here. So it's not really bad. It's not really bad. It's not really good either. It's just, you know, currently sitting at a support level which even means could be a buying opportunity as well. So if we talk about another green box down here, I know we had one up here, but unfortunately, uh, fortunately we have something interesting going on as well. And that means that when you came down here, you are finding this level and you're turning it into a big support because previously you had this, uh, you know, rally to the upside. So that's a little bit of a supply zone. And sorry, not a supply zone, but a demand zone. I just said it wrong. This is a demand zone where the buyers are sitting down the last time they pushed it up like this and it came down again to that place. Are they going to push it back up again and, uh, you know, try to back test this uh, area as support at the moment? That would be incredibly awesome. Which means one thing, if we really need a clarity, if we need a clear, clear no, no, and a clear uh, bull trap, and a clear start of a downtrend, I think the best place to say that Solana is going to be game over on a higher time frame, on a daily time frame, is going to be 15.27 because that makes it really, really clear because you do have uh, a pattern here as well. You have a big support right there. So coming down here is going to lose uh, the trend line. You're going to back test the trend line. You're going to start to move lower. Coming down to 15.27 is going to mean that you're taking out this another area of liquidity and you're trying to push the prices even way more to the downside. I don't really have anything bad to say, even though we dropped to the downside on the four hour time frame. You can see that we're making in a uh, bullish harami candlestick pattern right here right next to the support right there so maybe you know you could even work with a stop loss down in 19 dollars that's gonna be um that's gonna be a loss of nearly seven eight percent but i'm not gonna take that <laughs> you know but this is the better stop loss because you know stop loss hunts can happen as well and that's pretty much it for this solana update right now i'm gonna see you the next one hello office